rebound by Anthony. Anthony pull up jumper. He's got 41. Anthony, what a tough. Anthony fakes, puts it up for the win. It's good. I'm, I know how to head. Uh, two, maybe two or three rings. Now, let's set the stage. It's 2003 and Carmelo Anthony is fresh off leading Syracuse to an NCAA title in his freshman year. His draft stock is sky high, but the Nuggets, the team with the third pick in this year's draft, aren't exactly the most appealing destination. They had just gone 17 and 65 the previous season, one of the worst records in the league. A young Melo, understandably, wasn't thrilled when he heard they were interested in drafting him. Yeah, Melo was hoping to go to Detroit. The Pistons had just made the Eastern Conference Finals and were a legit playoff contender. So when he heard he might end up in Denver, his reaction was less than enthusiastic. Melo himself admitted, and I quote, I don't want to go to Denver. But then Melo's agent sat him down and gave him a little perspective. Denver had a lot of cap space and was rebuilding, and they had the potential to turn things around quickly. So Melo gave it a shot, and it's safe to say it worked out pretty well for him and the Nuggets. With Melo leading the way, averaging 21 points and 6 rebounds a game in his rookie season, the Nuggets finished with a 43-39 record. It was their first playoff appearance since 1995. That's a massive turnaround for a team that was dead last the season before. But the real question here is, what if Carmelo had gone to the Pistons instead? Now imagine this, Detroit had just come off an Eastern Conference Finals appearance, and if they had picked Melo, he could have joined a roster with Chauncey Billups, Richard Hamilton, Ben Wallace, and then Rasheed Wallace, who they traded for later that season. I mean, that squad was already stacked, and Melo could have been the offensive firepower they needed to dominate even more. Let's play out this scenario. In 2004, the Pistons went on to win the NBA championship by defeating the Lakers in a huge upset. But what if Carmelo had been on that team? Many experts believe that not only would the Pistons have won that title, but with Melo, they could have gone back to back and maybe even won three straight championships. I don't know what I would have been if I would have went to Detroit. I, I know I would have had uh, two, maybe two or three rings. Uh, two. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't know how everything else would have played out after that throughout my career. So, right. and you know what? He's probably right. Carmelo's scoring ability would have given Detroit that extra edge. Plus, under Larry Brown's defensive system, Melo might have developed into a more complete two-way player. And just think of the impact that would have had on his legacy. NCAA title at Syracuse, followed by multiple NBA championships early in his career. We'd be talking about Carmelo Anthony in a completely different light. So what stopped the Pistons from drafting Carmelo? Well, they made one of the most infamous decisions in draft history. With the second pick, instead of Melo, they chose Darko Milicic. Yes. Darker. With the second pick in the 2003 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Darko Milicic from Serbia and Montenegro. While Melo went on to be a 10-time All-Star and one of the greatest scorers in NBA history, Darko bounced around the league, never living up to his hype. If Detroit had drafted Melo instead of Darko, it's safe to say the entire NBA landscape could have been different. But you know what? As Melo himself put it, everything all played out the way it was supposed to. He spent seven seasons in Denver, making seven straight playoff appearances and becoming one of the faces of the league. He even led the Nuggets to the Western Conference Finals in 2009, where they lost to Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers. If he had gone to Detroit, sure, he might have won titles, but would he have become the player he was during his career? It's one of those great what-ifs in NBA history. If Melo had gone to Detroit, his legacy might have been a winner right from the start, 
but instead he became a franchise cornerstone in Denver and one of the greatest isolation scorers of all time. And who knows, maybe, just maybe, we wouldn't have had Melo to the New York era, which, love it or hate it, was iconic in its own right. So, in the end, would you rather have seen Mello win multiple rings in Detroit, or do you prefer the journey he had, becoming the face of the Denver Nuggets and then later the New York Knicks? Let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more upcoming videos and NBA content. My name is Damian Peters. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.